Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm taking a look at all four of the helicopters in DCS World in the channel map. In VR, via the Oculus Rift S. There's so much detail packed into these areas. Look at the sheer number of buildings. I'm surprised that this isn't like 10 FPS right now. But wow, does it look amazing in a helicopter. I am really impressed with the channel map. Now, performance-wise, it definitely takes a bit more horsepower to get the most and out And you of really this. have to fine-tune your settings for your visual uh, details. If you don't, it's going to be a slideshow. This is really, really impressive in VR. There's just so much stuff packed into those towns and cities everywhere throughout this map. I almost wish I had combined arms right now just to kind of walk around in a vehicle down there and get close to these buildings. Wow. Just wow. This is up towards the top of the map, which is the top corner top left corner that's why it kind of ends up there and just you know goes into nothingness this middle seat is such a better view for flying I think in the uh, MI8 So in VR on the channel map, it seems no matter what airframe I choose, helicopter or fixed wing, looks like 36 is my average for FPS with the settings that I've been utilizing. I think of all the maps that there are in DCS world, I think this one in VR and helicopters is really kick-ass. Performance-wise, it leaves a lot to be desired, but I think they have to fix the uh, open beta implementation of VR more than anything. Because 2.5.5 performance was really decent. Not as good as it could have been, I think, but, you know, it was better than what it is right now. But it's pretty soothing flying a helicopter over this map and just doing some basic sightseeing. And I am really enjoying it. Now here's a helicopter I haven't been in in a very long time. The Gazelle. Once again, performance is, you know, I'd say on average around 36 FPS.
I'm getting as high as 40 in some spots, 47 for a second there, but this is one of the many air bases you'll find throughout the channel map. What the hell was destroyed? <laughs> that's weird. Not entirely sure what that's about. I'm just kind of free flighting it right now. Had a little cue come up on the screen that said destroyed. Kind of interesting. All right, here we are in the KA-50. And I believe this is the Dunkirk. Is this Dunkirk or Dover? This is the Dunkirk region. Really nice harbor area here. Yeah, it's really fun to fly over this map in a helicopter. You can really get to see all the work that they've done down low here. Once again, it looks like 36 FPS is kind of where I'm locked at for the most part. even have some cars parked in front of the houses down there, which I thought was kind of neat. It's too bad in this latest open beta update that they did something that screwed up the lighting because externally almost all of my planes look washed out and I don't understand it. This is definitely a really, really fun map to fly uh, low in a helicopter in. Performance seems a wee bit better in the Gazelle because there's not a lot of cockpit to render. So it's almost a more un unobstructed view of things. But it seems 36 is still the magic number here in terms of FPS. But at times it gets a little bit better in the gazelle because there's not as much to render here. So it's probably the most forgiving of the choppers in DCS. In terms of performance, that is. This is some really fun terrain to, to fly over in a helicopter. I'm really looking forward to the Kiowa. I think it's going to be great fun, especially on this map. These cities are pretty intense. Look, I'm down to about 25 to 29 FPS right now. more densely populated areas are going to take some performance. I would say if you're struggling with DCS right now, performance-wise, uh, the channel map is going to be a bit tough 
to uh, achieve the same performance you're used to getting on, say, the Normandy map or the Persian Gulf map. There's just a lot more stuff to render here. And keep in mind, my system specs is an i9-9900K running at stock speeds. Uh, an RTX 2080 Super GPU, 8 gigabytes. 32 gigabytes of uh, 3000 megahertz DDR4. Uh, a Z390 Asus motherboard. All running off of a uh, SATA SSD. So, this is considered a high-end system, and I'm using an Oculus Rift S. Um, I'm utilizing the Oculus Tray Tool uh, for my pixel density, and my pixel density is only sitting at 1.5, which isn't really high. And I also have the visual settings tuned down pretty low to be able to achieve what I'm what I'm seeing right here, right now. It's just that the VR performance in 2.5.6 open beta took a nosedive a few updates ago. Um, it recovered a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't even say that. It got a little bit better when they released Super Carrier about a week ago. Um, but that's about it. It's still nowhere near what it was before 2.5.6. All right, here we are in Dover, in VR, in the Huey. Look, there's a car kind of driving down there doing its thing. This castle's pretty kick-ass looking, too. So it really looks like 36 is the magic number here in VR because it seems to be right about where I've been very consistent. Yeah, this is really cool looking. Wow. Right in the thick of it here, you're going to drop down into the 20s. I'd say I'll probably hit 25 here before long. At least that's what I was getting in the gazelle at times. Yeah, 28, And once again, I think shadows are all kinds of screwed up right now in this latest open beta. And the lighting is a little bit weird too because everything looks a little washed out externally. 
And I don't think it's the map that's doing it. I think it's the open beta update and things that they've done there. Yeah, this really is just a fun little area to kind of fly around. Actually, almost all the areas on this map, you're going to find some areas that are, you know, a little bit barren compared to this. Some wide open fields of green and trees. But for the most part, everything I've seen looks really impressive. And uh, again, with that being the case, it's going to take a little more horsepower to pull it off. So if you are struggling with DCS visually and achieving reasonable frames per second, um, the channel map's probably going to challenge your system. And bear in mind, it is in early access. It was just released. So I'm sure there's a lot of optimization to go. But overall, I would have to say I'm really pleased with the channel map. Um, it's on sale right now for 20% off at $39.99. Uh, personally, I don't think any of these maps are worth, you know, $40 or $50. Um, I've gotten most of them when they were like $25 on sale. But this one is really impressive. I would have to say that this is probably the best map they've ever created for DCS World in terms of visual detail and uh, just cities and towns and stuff like that are really intensely populated. As you can see, it's really fun with helicopters. Um, while it really does look the part for the World War II era scenarios, um, it's a blast to fly helicopters over this and just kind of peek at the different stuff that's on the ground and uh, take in the scenery. So if you're into helicopters in DCS world, I think this is a must-buy map. It really is. But again, it's going to take a little bit more performance to pull off all of this visual splendor. So keep that in mind going into it because it is an open beta. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of optimization yet to be done. Um, and the open beta platform itself, you know, is just kind of a mess right now when it comes to VR performance. And then whatever's going on with how the stuff is being uh, illuminated with the lighting right now, with how a lot of... Uh, of the planes and helicopters and stuff look externally and then there's also issues with like nighttime lighting uh, in the cockpit lighting with the latest open beta so keep that in mind as you go into this other than that this is really awesome and I'm really enjoying the shit out of it so I'm gonna leave it at that guys uh, that's it for now so as always please subscribe to the channel feel free to hit that like button and until next time guys